wonderful atmosphere here in Croke Park. The crowd anticipated between 50 and 60,000. We'll get the exact figure later on. Cork have appeared in seven of the last eight semi-finals. They won in 07, 09 and 2010. This is Donegal's second semi-final in a row. The man in charge is David Coldrick from County Mead. This is his second All-Ireland semi-final. And of course, uh, Donegal come here having 10 wins from 11 championship games. A second Ulster title and a second All-Ireland semi-final appearance is impressive for the new look Donegal side and Jim McGinnis. So many tactical games played before this match starts. So many tactical games that I'm sure we will watch and indeed tell you as quickly as we see them. Who will mark Mark McHill? Will it be Paddy Kelly? Will he follow him all over the place? Will it be a long ball into the Corkville forward line? Or will Cork play laterally across the pitch? Gaelic football has evolved over the last number of years, but these two counties, Cork and Donegal, have brought new dimension over the last number of seasons. This is it, a test of skill, passion, tactical awareness, and no doubt, above all else, the will to get into that All-Ireland football final. Cork onto the attack, they won the toss and are playing from right to left. Paddy Kelly giving it back for his aid and watch, just 22 years of age, and such a central figure. Paddy Kelly again laying it off. Number 21 on his back is Kieran Sheen. He's one of those two late substitutions introduced by Conor Coonan. Captain of Cork from Bantry Blues in beautiful West Cork is Graham Panty. Sending a ball in, fast ball in towards Colum O'Neill. Cut out, however, by Leo McLoon, who's uh, come back into that defensive role. Eamon McGee wearing number five and going into the very first attack down towards Colin McFarland. Tony Kassan is back there, and it's Kassan that seems to have picked up McFadden in the early stages. Once again, it's Sheehan going for the long ball into the corner. Chasing after this is Colm O'Neill. Back outside is Dunnock O'Connor, goes for the cross instead. There's nobody there, though, in a red and white jersey, and it's easily gathered by Rory Kavner, who lays it off quickly. Again, Thomas McGee going forward. This is younger brother Neil, who very well represented. Just took his eye off it, managed to toe poke it down just a little bit. Noel O'Leary was fouling, and that's a free for Donegal. Rather strange to see Noel O'Leary at right corner back, rather than in his more familiar position in the half back line. Two against two up here. The referee blows his whistle, feels that Owen Cadigan was fouling. And you may recall back in the league game in Bally Buffet in March, Donegal got a goal after 10 seconds. It was a long ball into Michael Murphy, and again they tried the long ball here, up to Murphy, who was operating in the early stages at the edge of the square. And that's the last goal conceded from play in league or championship by this court team. So Donegal may well develop, we will see, a long ball strategy. Michael Murphy taking the first free of the afternoon and tapping it over the bar. Donegal are up and running in Croke Park in this semi-final. Yeah, good start for Donegal. Already it's very noticeable, Marty, that Brian Bradley, Leo McLuhan and Mark McHugh from the half-forward line have retreated right back into the defence. And noticeably with Cork when they're attacking, they're cutting out the solo run when they come up along the flanks and getting quick ball into the Donegal full-back line. Kicked out by Alan Cua. Picked up by Ed Walsh. Seems to have been fouled by Leo McLuhan. That's going to be a free for the Munster champions. Aidan Walsh to take it. Looking around at the options, Paul Kerrigan makes a run that he was very well marshalled. Didn't seem to be the right option. Trying to go down there was Neil Gallagher. Ball comes back into space to Frank McGlenn. An attacking corner back, including scoring a goal in the Ulster final against Down. Lacey to Gallagher, Thompson, Mark McKeon, down first Colin McFat, nice play, Donegal, good combination, is there a score at the end of it all? It's a big high kick, but it's swinging right and wide, off the boot this time of Rory Kavner. Yeah, what surprises me actually about uh, Cork at the moment, McHugh has gone back into the half-back line, I expected Gould to follow him up there, but McHugh has enjoyed the freedom of that area already and initiated that move and was twice involved in it.
knocked down by Neil Gallagher, picked up by Aidan Walsh, feeding Tori Kassar. Fintan Gould selected at left half back, despite that number 10 in his jerseys. Nice ball inside first, Colm O'Neill. He's deadly on the left foot, feeds it back first, Fintan Gould, and that is just to the right and wide. So both counties missing relatively easy opportunities in this early stages. Yeah, that was a very good opportunity, actually missed that time, would have put Cork on the score, but, but both teams are really just feeling each other out, uh, just trying to settle into their patterns. Pick out from Paul Durkin from the Four Masters Club in Donegal Town. Neil Gallagher did really well. Had his fingertips on it the first time, gathered it the second time. Let's it in quickly. That was Ryan Bradley. Goes for the long ball again. A testing one. Cadigan and Murphy are in there, and the ball is wide. Interesting game plan from Donegal. They are using the long ball. Yeah, we have been critical of them all, you know, already this year that they haven't put in Murphy close enough to goals. They're doing that now. Cadigan very, very clever that time in the way he used his body to let that ball drift out of play. Goes straight down the middle. Neil Gallagher. And getting his fingertips ahead of Alan O'Connor. Then gets the return pass. Waste of possession, easily gathered by Graham Canty. Toddy Kassan for his own Cadigan. Nolo Leary gone forward. Kassan. Good play by Court. Kerrigan is at the end of it. It's a sweet kick. It's a sweet move. And Cork are on the scoreboard for the first time. Yeah, that's a lovely score from Kerrigan. That's probably what you see more and more of Cork doing today, shooting from distance, not coming into the tackle as much as they might have done in the past. That's an excellent uh, opening score for Cork. And it's interesting, Martin, that it involved Noel O'Leary and Toddy Kassan going forward from a very deep defensive role. Yes, and also Kerrigan not bringing the ball into the area where there is Donegal traffic and heavy traffic at that. Paul Durkin. Fools everybody, I think, uh, with that kick out. And it's won easily by Paddy Kelly. Skipping away on this occasion from Mark McHugh. And on the turn, sends it straight between the posts. Paddy Kelly is his name from Ballancolic and Cork lead for the very first time. I don't think that kick out went to where it was meant to go. That time it went out to Mark McHugh, who was well beaten in the race for the ball by Paddy Kelly. Kelly took the opportunity to tuck McHugh on, fired a very good score, but Durkin's kick out was a disappointment that time. And that anticipated strategy of having Teddy Kelly on Mark McHugh has started right from the beginning. And Kelly getting the first score as well. They're on Sheehan in that particular personal tussle. There's Sheehan uses the aforementioned Paddy Kelly. And Cork trying to slow matters down. Alan O'Connor to Paddy Kassar. Here's the point scorer, Paul Kerrigan. Couldn't control it, manages to get forward. Well surrounded, took the ball off the ground is the view of the referee. And there's uh, a little bit of afters, but uh, th things have calmed down there. Uh, yes, uh, and an interesting contrast that time. Kerrigan carried the ball into the tackle area at that time and got dispossessed, whereas the first time he didn't, he let it over the bar. Good ball into space for Paddy McBrearty, taking on Noel O'Leary. Good speed from the 19-year-old, lovely scale by McBrearty. And the referee blows his whistle, fooling Noel O'Leary completely with some beautiful footwork here. And then was subsequently fouled by Gould. An outstanding young player in club football in Donegal this year. He scored in 10 games, 80 points, I think. And he's been absolutely scintillating there in the scoring sense. So a chance here now for Colin McFadden. Top scorer with Donegal with three goals and 23 points over a series of five championship matches. Black one, four eight, four eight, black one. Here he comes. Took his time, fully focused. And it's over the bar. Level for the second time in this All Ireland semi final.
goalkeeper Alan Quirk made his championship debut against Donegal back in 1999. It was again straight down the middle. Gathered this time cleanly by Aidan Watch. Feeds it back. Fares Toddy Kassan, but picked up by Anthony Thompson. Nice ball for us, McFadden. One over is Michael Shields. McFadden did well. Ball comes loose. And Shields is there again. Sweeping up the loose broken ball. And then goes for distance. The ball, however, is going to be a throw ball because uh, Michael Shields didn't uh, take the free from where it should have been. Yeah, just a little bit over anxious and trying to keep the game going at pace. Kind of came forward too far with the ball and the referee correctly brings it back and will throw in between two of them. Two big men in the middle of the field, Neil Gallagher and Alan O'Connor. Six foot four and six foot three. Six foot three man wins the possession. O'Connor. Fires left corner back Owen Cadigan. Needs a bit of support. Over this side, Toddy Kassan is available. Finton Gould is available. Gives it back fires Michael Shields. He wasn't quite anticipating that. Ball into the centre for Aidan Walsh. As Donegal backtrack, Cork to a lot of hand passes. And now finally into the Donegal half of the field. Down first, Colm O'Neill. Good ball. Won it well. Three Donegal defenders around him. Toddy Kassan slips one through the centre. Carl Laser coming into challenge. And back there is Mark McHear. Far as Rory Kavner. And away come Donegal. There's a little bit of afters going on as well. Kavner feeds Anthony Thompson. Goes again for that long ball up to Michael Murphy. Lays it off, quickly fires McFadden on the turn. Scores! Good play, Donegal. And Michael Murphy is a very good target man if they can feed quantity and indeed quality ball into it. Beautifully punt a ball into Murphy that time, who showed out in front of his defender, won the ball well, but the angle of the run from McFadden to come in and support and finish it was top draw. Sonny Goal put their noses in front again. In the centre of the field, Kavna and Neil Gallagher are doing rather well. Early stages, 11 and a half minutes gone. Ball dropping in again towards Murphy. Tried to lay it off cleverly to McFadden. Picked up instead by Alan O'Connor, who's gone back there in a defensive role. Coming forward his own Cadigan. Available to his left is Paul Kerrigan. He goes right instead. Trying to release and set up Noel O'Leary. O'Leary about to be challenged by Rory Kavna. Backtracks for his Kieran Sheehan. Sheehan waits for the challenge. Gets by the initial tackle of Carl Lacey, which was weak to say the least. Sends the ball in. Donico O'Connor had to stretch a little bit high to gather. Wins himself for free. O'Connor thought about taking it quickly, but now, wise head on old shoulders.